update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently got a sea of red out there. you got the Dow off 25, S&P down 6, NASDAQ down 45, Brussels off 4, semis off 8. Trannies are slightly positive. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices trading to the downside. You've got gold off 4 bucks, silver down 21 cents, nearly 9 tenths of a cent. Uh, Light speed crude is up 20 pennies. Natural gas is up a uh, penny. 30 year treasury printed out at 13102. That's back a half a point. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand corner. What do you got? You got that good old fashioned consolidation. Now it's not shown here, but what I can share with you, maybe we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show, is the oscillator and change line is what is capping price out on the daily time frame. Let me give you the current level here. Give, give me a moment. I'll get over there. The current oscillator and change line level is 41.54. So you need to close above that to then suggest a rally up to the top of its profile, 4206, which I suspect will happen, especially as long as that spot volatility remains below that 50-day exponential moving average, which it is. And as long as the NQ remains in a bullish position. Now, if you do get a bearish reversal candle today, right now you've got a bearish sash. I don't know what it'll be at day's end. You would get a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, it is breaking out above its consolidation level area. It is breaking out above the top of its daily profile. And a close above 10201 is going to suggest a change in trend and a move to the upside. Goldilocks consolidating with inside its profile and dipping below the top of its daily profile. So therefore, a close below 2019.40 today could signal move to 1986 to 1996 for us. In the case of silver, broken through its profile levels, broken through its consolidation, does give us a measured move. But right now, price has found support at the 0.382 retracement of the entire move off of the lows from March the 10th out there. So this is an area of support or could be an area of support. If we take a look at the uh, uh, lights we crude out here, trading below profile. So it looks like it still wants to get back and at least target the high of May the 4th. That level is 69.84. So far, the low today, 70.14. Natural gas, it has a confirmed roads momentum indicator. Well, it does not. It has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom signal, but has not confirmed because we don't have a bullish reversal candle. But price still trading with inside that bullish structure profile, and we continue to see support at 218. That's a signal to you and I that natural gas is getting ready to move up to the 242 level. And the 30-year treasury, you can see that consolidation. We got consolidations all over the place, folks. It's just the way that it is. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.